Hi, I'm Mark Horseman with Manager Tools, and I want to share with you my theory of management constraints. This morning, Mike and I were having a conversation on the phone about uh, products and services we were planning on rolling out and how excited we were, and at the same time how frustrated we were that it was taking so long and we, we weren't getting things out as fast as we like. And, and uh, Mike made the comment, rightfully so, that we're resource constrained. We, we don't have enough people to get everything done that we want to get done as fast as we possibly can. And I said, well, actually, that's a good thing. Um, and then I basically spouted off my theory of management constraint, as I like to do. Um, and But before I do that for you, let me give you a little bit of background. Um, I know most of you as managers are probably feeling like you have a tight budget. Uh, during this time of layoffs, budgets are tight. Uh, you probably won't be able to hire new people. Um, you don't have the resources that you want to have. It is so easy at a time like this to complain. Gosh, I need more people. If I just had this one person, we could roll out this new product and service. Or, gosh, if I had a little bit more budget money, even though you know everybody's budget's getting cut, uh, boy, things would be much easier. And my recommendation to you is please don't complain. And actually, we're going to talk about complaining. We're going to talk in the future about complaining and about attitudes uh, and really, more importantly, behaviors. Um, relative to the, the, the market uh, downturn that we're having right now. But whatever you do, don't complain because I promise you, all great companies have always been fundamentally, in the main, resource constrained. Great companies do not have resources laying around all the time that are idle, that are waiting to be applied. They are fundamentally resource constrained. And it's very simple, the reason why. Because resource constraints cause a focus on productivity and everything I know about companies about organizations says companies that focus on productivity lead to profitability in other words if you're highly productive you will tend to be more profitable than a company that is not as highly productive as you are uh, think about the dot-com bubble in the beginning of the 21st century what happened there was all kinds of VC money we're not against VC money don't get me wrong but there were all kinds of additional resources out in Silicon Valley and of course across the rest of the world as well for technology companies I happen to believe that they had too many resources and those resources got to do all kinds of things that were not as focused on what they should have been focused on which was producing a profit and, and what Peter Drucker would say is creating a customer which of course would then provide the revenues which if your costs are low can actually produce profit um, the dot-com bubble proves that with too many resources, or at least suggests that with too many resources, you end up perhaps not being as productive and therefore as profitable as you want. So, in times of layoffs, think about this way. Suppose your company just laid off 5% of their workforce. If your revenues and profitability only went down by 2 or 3%, then everybody in the organization is, in fact, more productive. That's one of the grossest measures of productivity you can possibly have. Not suggesting that as long as you can cut, as long as you can keep revenue and profitability going down less than, than uh, your cuts, your layoffs, then you should keep cutting people. I'm not suggesting that at all. What I am suggesting is productivity and profitability are related. And in downturns, when you have less people, it will cause the people that you have to focus more crisply and precisely on the things that will deliver profit for the organization. Some projects that may or may not have been effective or may or may not led to revenue and then to profit may be set aside. And that's a good thing because those things probably wouldn't get pruned if, in fact, we had too, much, too many resources. Horseman's theory of management constraints is very simple. The best constraint you have is a restraint on uh, the, the best restraint you can have is a constraint on resources and primarily on people. Having less people makes you as a manager and you as your team focus more on how to make those people as productive as you possibly can. Managers are the key to profitability by focusing on productivity. Don't ask for more resources. Focus on how to make the resources you have more productive. I'm Mark Horseman. Thanks for listening.